Hi, this is Andy from Michigan Pool News. I'm from Aquatic Source. Uh, we're talking about stabilizer and UV control to keep the chlorine from coming out of the water just because the sun's out in heavy bather loads. Uh, first thing you want to do is test your stabilizer that's in the water or your cyanuric acid. That's the, the base product. You would take the 13, number 13 reagent out of your Taylor test kit and the empty bottle that comes with it that nobody uses. Fill up the, the sample bottle up to the first line with pool water. Take the number 13, fill it up to the next, the second line, put the cap on, shake it, pull it, shake it for about 30 seconds. After that, lift the spout and squirt it into the small side of the comparator. There is a dot in the bottom looking through the top until the dot disappears. On the back side of the comparator, it's either on the outside on this one or on the inside of the round tube. There is a scale. You don't want to go over about 30 parts per million if you do not have a controller. If you do, keep it below 20 parts. Anything in the pool is better than nothing to keep the, the stabilizer or your uh, UV control in the water. There are different manufacturers that label it under different products. This one is called UV control. This one's stabilizer. Another brand is conditioner. Uh, the amount needed for the pool is marked on the back of each container as to how much you add. It's roughly 13 ounces will raise, will put 10 parts per million in 10,000 gallons of water. You can either pour it into the pool and wait because it's very slow dissolving, could take a week or so, or you can put it in a, with a pool that has a gutter. You can put it in a nylon bag, hang it in your surge tank so as the water's going by it slowly dissolves. If you have skimmers, you can also put it in a sock of some sort or a nylon bag, put it in the skimmer basket, and when you go to clean the baskets out, you can pull out the uh, nylon bag with the stabilizer in it and set it aside, clean your basket. When you get done, put it back in. Another thing that happens is in, the, in August, after you've used product that has the stabilizer built in, trichlors and dichlors, your tablet chlorine, it's going to add stabilizer by itself. In August, when it starts getting higher, you can actually slow down how well the chlorine works. Test the water. If it goes up over 50 parts per million, you can actually dilute it by draining water out of the pool and adding fresh water. There is no product that takes stabilizer out of the water except dilution. Again, this is Andy from Aquatic, or from Aquatic Source from Michigan Pool News. Thank you.